Hi, welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial. Today, we're going to show you Mid Journey version 5 version Stable Diffusion 2. It's a step-by-step -step beginner guide for everyone to follow easily. If you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Now, let's get right into it. Now for today's video, we will be showing you the difference between the Dream Studio and Mid Journey. Now recently, Dream Studio added the Stable Diffusion 2 into their AI generator. So we're going to check out the difference of the different prompts from Mid Journey to our Dream Studio over here. Now, we're going to be entering three different prompts and these are the following. The first one is very simple prompts. We're not going to go with the complicated, uh, super detailed prompts for the meantime, but these are the different prompts we're going to check it out. We're going to ask both of them to provide us with high details, HD and realism with the topic of Moon and Oric. Then we're going to go with 32-bit isometric design over here with Cut with Wings. Then a diagrammatic drawing for a rocket ship. So we're going to go with our first prompt over here. And we're going to start with Mid Journey. Now, first things first, we're going to focus on the version 5. So we're going to go to our settings over here. And we're going to change the settings of our version over here. So currently, we are using the 5.1 raw version. So we're going to change it to version 5 over here and change it to very high for the styles over here because in Doom Studio, the style or the definition and quality is very high also so we're going to partner it up with a style that is very high with mid journey so let's get started we're going to type in imagine then we're going to paste our uh, prompt over here and simply click on enter and we're going to wait for mid journey to produce our results over here now the difference also difference between mid journey and dream studio over here is that Dream Studio has its own websites wherein you could enter your prompt and you could get your results right away. In Mid Journey, you would need to have a Discord account and then join the Discord server and you also need to pay. Right now, we are using the free version of Dream Studio. I think you would need to also pay for this AI generator later on but as you can see here on our Mid Journey, you would need to pay first before you could access it. And also, the difference, like I said earlier, is that Dream Studio has its own website while Mid Journey is still in the uh, Discord server over here. And you would often have to wait for Mid Journey to produce your output over here because lots of people are also using Mid Journey through the Discord server. And as you can see here, this is our high detailed HD resolution realism for Moon and Earth over here. This is our output over here, and we could check them out by zooming in by clicking on the u1 which is this photo over here u2 is this one u3 and u4 over here we could upscale this so that we could see it in more details and we're going to do the same thing in dream studio we're going to paste our prompt over here now also a difference is that the way dream studio handles negative prompt now in mid journey sometimes the negative prompt doesn't work and because of that it will create a very funky images with negative prompt but or but with dream studio you will be able to use negative prompts properly over here and as you can see this is the upscaled version of our photo for the fourth one i think this is like a mixture of the moon and the earth so we have that and you could also view the first one over here so we could have some variation and see the difference between the different styles over here and as you can see this is the upscaled version of the first image now moving on, we're going to go to Dream Studio this time and we're going to ask it to generate for this version over here. For this one, you could also select styles over here like Enhance, Anime, Photographic, Digital, Comic Book, and all of these other designs over here. Very different with Mid Journey wherein you have to type it in the style that you specifically want it to. You could have it over here. But for now, we're going to stick with... Uh, enhance over here so we're going to ask it to generate it for us and let's see the difference between our mid journey output over here which is this one and our dream studio over here and as you can see there's already a very big difference between the two as you can see this is more realism and while over here we ask it to give us high details at hd and realism the same prompt but it gave us a different result over here so you will be able to see big difference right away let's try changing the style of this one maybe go with photographic 
and see if there will be a difference between this one and this one over here. Also, over here, you will be able to download image, set as initial image, edit image, and like generate variations. Similarly to uh, mid journey over here. So we're simply going to wait for it to generate. And as you can see here, it's still very different between our mid journey over here. I think mid journey is much better than this version over here. Uh, it, that's in my opinion though, but if you are looking for a certain style, of course, I think this is more cartoonish and has a lot of artwork or art style to it than our mid-journey over here. But the goal was to focus on realism. Now for our third prompt, we're going to focus on a cartoonish version. So we're going to go here and we're going to copy our prompt over here. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to type slash imagine. Go, we type the wrong thing, imagine, and paste it over here. Going to adjust the prompt a bit, just like that, and click on enter. And now going back here, we're going to do the same thing. Uh, add the comma, and we're going to change the style to uh, isometric, because this is for isometric either way. So we're going to have that. So we're going to add over here and let it generate just like that. So over here... It's already generating we have 15 percent right now so we're going to wait for this one to generate and then check it out over here oh first this one finished first so as you can see this is our isometric uh ai generated image over here this is the version for the dream studio as you can see this is our image over here i really like this one over here i think this is the best one out of the four that it has generated this is also good one over here now let's check out what mid journey has produced now as you can see it is very different although no it's very similar actually with some of these but mid journey went with a different approach it has like pixelated or like cubism with its design uh, i think i really like the design for the first one and the third one over here all of them are great but i think those are the ones that i like the most and over here the one that i like i like the most is this one over here and just like I said earlier, they both went with a different style, but I think they both look good and did an amazing job. But as, as like I said earlier, I think Mid Journey does a better job with the isometric over here. As you can see, this is our design over here. Now doing it again with our last prompt, we're going to check out the difference between a diagrammatic drawing over here. Going to copy this, paste it over here. For the style, we're going to go with a drawing, a line art. Because diagrammatic drawing is basically like a line art. So we're going to adjust our prop over here and generate and do the same thing over here. Slash imagine. Uh, wrong thing again. Imagine just like that. Paste it over here and adjust this just like that. And the three different props that we are tested today were realism, cartoonish version, which is this one. And now we're going to go with drawing to see which one is better. Dream Studio with its stability with its stable diffusion 2 or mid journey version 5 over here and as you can see this is the artwork dream studio has produced let's see if it will produce a different style with like this one we're going to dream we haven't chosen a specific style so that it goes with the prompt let's see if it will be able to generate the expected design we are expecting because this is not what we are expecting this is just like our random line art so we're going to wait for it to generate this one before we check out mid journey and as you can see this is what dream studio has produced it's not the output that i'm looking for but nevertheless it's still very good outputs produced by dream studio it's still a very good ai generator for images over here now we're going to check out mid journey and this is the output that i'm looking for it's like a blueprint drawing for different topics and as you can see we could upscale one of this and we could see the closer or bigger version of the image that we are trying to look for and as you can see this is the type of image or results that i was looking for and unfortunately dream studio went another way but still regardless produced very good results and as you can see here this is another version and dream studio has a lot of potential with its stability Diffusion 2, it still has a lot of room to grow, but Mid Journey version 5 is much, much better than this version over here. And that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.